It's finally time to reveal the secret project! It's a greenhouse! Ah! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can probably hear, it's a little bit echoey in here, but that's because we are in our brand new greenhouse. <laughs> and that's what this video is gonna be about. Ooh, and I'm Rose, by the way. <laughs> in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about the greenhouse, the planning of it, the preparations that we did, the building process. And this video is sponsored by Baptiste Hobbykossen, where we bought this amazing greenhouse. This is their website with all their different offerings. They have a lot of different greenhouses, but also carports and verandas and all that stuff and different sizes and shapes of greenhouses. The bottom right here is the one that we have, the atrium greenhouse. They have used greenhouses and also custom greenhouses. So if you're looking for a greenhouse, we highly recommend this company. We actually started researching greenhouses a long time ago and back in October, I started to film to explain it all to you. Let's go. And it actually started as a very small project that we were gonna do ourselves because I really want a greenhouse outside, but also my boyfriend wanted me to have a greenhouse because <laughs> then I can repot all my plants there. And I normally create a huge mess in the house. He visited some friends who had a big greenhouse where they had a sofa in and it was like an outside chill area. So he said, why don't we do the whole back of the garden a greenhouse? And of course I said yes, because more greenhouse space always good <laughs> more plants hey maggie that's what we're doing but we <laughs> did you see her running we were gonna do it ourselves but then i thought why not try and get it done really nicely and professionally so i asked around and jim from the bosrand recommended to me baptiste hobbykossen and that's who's gonna build this greenhouse for us i'm so so excited of course, first I have to show you the situation as it is now. As you can see, we have some weird stuff going on here. We have some stuff stored in this spot right now and a bench and some potted plants. On the other side, some bins, just a bit of a mess. So our first job was to empty it out, to clean up that mess. And then we decided that we're gonna take down the big apple tree that was in the back against the wall there. So we sawed off the stem. We did feel quite bad because it's been there for years, but obviously it's not going to be very happy in the greenhouse and we're not going to be very happy about it because we want to use that space the best we can. So we took it down. You can see the sawed off tree. It might grow again from one of the side buds, but we don't know. The wall that is disgusting and that our neighbor asked us to paint to protect his house. So we went over to my in-laws to get a big ladder. Cleaning the wall with a high pressure water machine thingy was very messy. So we got covered in dirt and water. But these time lapses do really show how effective it was. And of course I made a TikTok. We're building a greenhouse in the back of the garden. But first, of course, we need to clean everything. Let's get this wall nice and clean. As you can see, the higher part is extra disgusting. So I'm really happy that we did this. Although standing that high was kind of scary and it will get even more scary. I left this whole time lapse in here because I've had people comment saying it's really annoying when I don't put the ending in there. So there you go, all the way until the last bit, yay. It's around eight o'clock in the morning and the guys are here. It's a really shitty day today. It's raining, it's gray but we're ready. So on this first day, these two guys came with this fancy measuring material and machines and stuff because our place is very angled. It's not just a straight up greenhouse. It's gonna have to be very custom made. So you see them working here in the pouring rain, <laughs> poor guys, but we did give them some coffee. So I hope they were happy and stayed warm. <laughs> We wanted to make sure we painted this wall before they actually installed the greenhouse because we would not be able to reach it again. As you can see, we used a super, super tall ladder and it was really scary standing up there. So I decided to sit on the pergola and hold on tight with my legs while I painted. It was kind of hard because the wall was so grainy, but luckily my boyfriend and I did it together and his brother came to help as well, which was awesome. It went by pretty quick with the three of us and 
the brother's girlfriend as well with the mental support and also holding the ladder because that was very unstable. Thanks so much Boss and Vitska for the help. And again, I'm showing you the whole time lapse because it's kind of nice to <laughs> see the ending. Also, if you look in the corner there, you see me basically stuck in between bushes finishing the last bits. Finally done, happy, happy team. The builders requested that we open up the floor so they can actually put anchors in there so that the greenhouse will be super stable. So now we have to remove all our beautifully home built edge of this thing so that they have easy access. And we probably have to fix that after. So there we go, breaking out all the tiles and messing up our hard labor from two summers ago and also taking out those edges because they were also, of course, not gonna be useful anymore since the shape is gonna be very, very different. Today is the day, the very, very exciting day. We got up super early to get the coffee ready and be ready for when the builders are coming because today they are actually bringing the greenhouse, including the glass. So it should be finished later today. My boyfriend just told me that they're here already. So I'm heading outside. Goedemorgen. A quick before shot of how it looks without the greenhouse. And then they were starting to bring in these tubes to make the concrete bases, measuring out the front where the door is going to be, making sure that that is level and at the right angle. On the back wall there you see three supports. That is what the greenhouse roof is going to lean on. And then two front beams for now until we have the actual beams in there with the concrete supports. This is the top. Look how cool that is. It's so beautiful. It's called an atrium cup. Here's my boyfriend looking very, very excited. It was his big idea, so yay. And this is our view from before, blue skies. Yay. Here we go. We're lifting it all together into the garden. We had to help them a little bit because it's quite impractical getting it underneath the big pergola that we built. It fit like to the millimeter so we were very lucky that that worked we lifted it up on top of our shed basically to the left here as you can see i'm not touching anything i'm being very helpful by being there <laughs> mentally supporting but yeah i was not tall enough next to that big guy <laughs> at least then he gave me an important job of putting those supports underneath the big frame so at least i felt a little bit useful I was holding on to them the whole time because he told me if they move it's going to be very bad. <laughs> Focused on the job as always, I grabbed my phone to film from where I was standing as they were trying to attach it. Look at that blue sky, so much better than the day that they came to measure. <laughs> Once the frame was in place, they started to pour the concrete to make the bases for the front part of the greenhouse. And the sun even came out. Look at that. Sunshine. We're so excited to sit in this greenhouse once the sun is out in winter. Look, the concrete is already hardened and the frame front is in. Then it took a really long time for them to fix all the edges. As you can probably see on the right there, it's super angled. So at the back wall, it's against the white wall. And then at the front, there's like a 30 centimeter difference. I think this job actually took the longest, but at least there was sun and a blue sky. As you can see, the frame is floating a lot, so we'll have to fix that later, which is gonna be interesting. Look at that sunshine, it's so beautiful. All the little orbs from the light, yay. They're putting the glass in right now. So it's actually becoming a greenhouse, super exciting. And I feel like this is actually being more finished than our actual house. <laughs> it's really, really detailed and nice. And I actually couldn't even see that they had already put one piece of glass in here. <laughs> It's so clean and see-through that you can't see it. Once they started putting the glass in, it actually went pretty quickly and it was fascinating to see, especially with how flimsy those glass pieces are. As you can see here, it's very, very thin. It is safety glass, but it's definitely not double glazed or anything, so that's why double glazed, that sounds like a pie. Is that the right word? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's not like insulated glass. It's just one layer. And then it got really exciting because they got the windows, the small ones over here, and then the big door frames as well. Putting in the windows was actually quite easy. He seemed to click them in there and then they could just come down. 
it's about half past four right now so they've been here a long time already but it's not completely done yet there's still some doors done here and i feel like they're working a lot on fixing the sides which obviously are a little bit crooked because our whole house is crooked so then it was time to pop the glass in the front. These were such big pieces of glass. It was really crazy and trying to move them around around the big pergola as well. Pretty scary, but it was really, really exciting as you can see from my happy, happy face. It started to become a little bit gray and rainy and the lights in the garden actually switched on. It was that late and they were still working really hard. Here you can see the doors going in which are big sliding doors with also big glass panels. And that's it for this first video about the greenhouse. Of course, I'm gonna be making more, showing you how we move the plants inside, how we're gonna uh, set it up, what zones we're gonna create, because it is quite big. We want some different areas in here and also how we're gonna build our living wall, hopefully behind me. Stay tuned for that. I will make a playlist for this so that you can see every episode in a row. It's a little bit more practical and organized that way, hopefully. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have so much more content planned for you guys and I can't wait to share it all with you. See you soon. Thanks so much for watching and I love you. Bye friends.